So, you know, did you ever look up at the night sky and think, man, I wish I could see what all is up there? Well, you can, and your feet don't even have to leave the ground. This week on Texas Outdoors, we're going to do a little stargazing with the San Antonio Astronomical Association. Horsehead Nebula, Heart Nebula, Andromeda, Bode's Galaxy. It was like I stepped into a scene from Men in Black. They were talking about things you hear about in science fiction movies. And what is that? That's Orion? Orion Nebula. It's M42. I've always wanted to look through a really good telescope. That's pretty impressive. And the San Antonio Astronomical Association gave me the opportunity. I don't know if it makes you feel small or if it makes you feel a part of it. It's, it's something special. I don't know. I wish I could explain it. The club meets every Wednesday night, weather permitting, at Raymond Remkus Park in Leon Valley. So that's looking through this telescope. Greg Bellman's fascination started when he bought a $60 telescope. You could see the rings of Saturn. Really? Amazing. I was jumping up and down, went inside, grabbed all the family members. Then he bought a $200 scope. A couple of years later, someone showed him how to take pictures. And he put my camera on his telescope and took a picture of Orion, and I have been hooked ever since. I should have just handed over my wallet. <laughs> but the pictures he produces make up for it. I don't know. I think it's the wonder, that, that moment when you realize that these things are really out there. They're not an image in a book. They're not a graphic artist's design computer generated. They really exist. A lot of the members say they've always had a fascination with the night sky. These guys were talking about things that were literally so far over my head, it made me dizzy. It's kind of like a, almost like a little, like a little dipper kind uh -huh. of shape, right. isn't it? Yeah. I see them. Yeah. I'll That's be the same sisters. Yeah, just kind of uh -huh. west of Mars. Right. It's just uh -huh. west of Mars. Yeah. Uh -huh. The club is also attracting a new generation of stargazers, like 19-year-old Carlos Campos. So one day I decided like, to see what I could find with a small telescope in the backyard and end up uh, going down this research rabbit hole and ordering my first one. And a month, I ordered a small six-inch telescope and a month later I ended up buying this one for off Craigslist. Now Campos images with his telescope too and has some great pictures. Can you take pictures with yeah. it? We got some pictures of the moon tonight and then also Jupiter. 17-year-old Anna Weimer took it one step further. She loves astronomy and needed a project for the Medina County Junior Livestock Show, so she and her dad Jeff made one. We were trying to come up with a project I could make for the show, um, and I'm not interested in welding or building trailers or anything like that. It's beautiful and works amazingly well. She was without a doubt the star Hello. of the night until you turn on the scopes and look up. Oh my gosh. Jupiter, Saturn, planets, uh, nebulas, uh, star clusters, galaxies, comets. I'm gonna tell you what, the, that telescope that Anna Weimer made, 17 mm -hmm. years old, was absolutely Amazing. Amazing. That's I mean, incredible that they did that together. She, yeah. she made it for a, a, a project in the Medina County uh, Fair, the, the Ag Mac yeah. program. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, and I tried to find out whether or not she played. I know she placed, but I don't know what place she oh. got. But it's. I hope she took the whole thing. That was yeah. amazing. And the pictures that Greg Bellman uh -huh. takes are just unbelievable. They meet every Wednesday at Raymond Remkus Park. Well, and they'll let cool. anybody look yeah. through their scopes. It makes me think of my little brother Gabe when he was nine years old. Guess what he asked for his birthday? Telescope. A telescope, a telescope and yeah. a map of the world. Now, this will just kind of give you a little insight into me. When I was a kid, instead of you looking at the stars and stuff at night, I would want to follow the contrails of the jets and try to see if I could. Okay. Now that's hard to do, but I would do <laughs> it. Yeah, yeah. But I would do it with my telescope. All these I don't recommend it. You burn your eyes out. Yeah. <laughs> All these scopes have trackers <laughs> and everything. It's amazing. Yeah, that's what I would do with my telescope. Whatever that says about me, I don't know. You know